Caleb Thorne has a mission. Keep the guys at school away from his best friend's tomboy sister, you. But will he be able to save you from himself? That is the plot line of my brother's hot friends on the episode app. So I've had a lot of requests recently to read this story. Now, I read an alternate version in the past called Loving the Tomboy, which you can find on my channel. So we're gonna see, you know, what's changed in this episode official version of it. I don't know. I loved the original, so I'm excited to see what happens with this one. I don't know if I'm going to complete it. We're going to read one chapter. We're going to see what's different. I was originally going to do this in like ASMR style, but I figured we'll do this one normal and I'm going to say rule breaker and do that one in like ASMR. Unless you want me to continue this one and do this one in ASMR. It's up to you. Y'all say in the comments below and we'll continue however we see fit. But let me know what you guys think. Please go follow the amazing author Sanja. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And let's start the drama. There she is. Okay, so this is our protagonist, Lola. She looking a little different this time around. We got that loose little cute braid going on. It's so good to see you, little sis. Same here. You have no idea how much I've missed you guys. I can't believe how much you've grown in just three years. Yeah, I just turned 18. Isn't that crazy? Welcome to adult life. It's not as great as you might think. I mean, he has a point. It's really not. <laughs> I'm so happy you decided to do your last year of high school back home. Me too. I think it'll be good for me. Where's your luggage? It got lost. Typical, right? I guess I'll have to wear this plain outfit until I get back. Don't worry. We can stop by the mall and get you some new clothes. There's two new stores I think you're going to love. Okay, so oh, we're trying to pick high fashion tomboy wardrobe. <laughs> They're trying to get her looking so cute. Skater tomboy wardrobe. They aren't playing around with these wardrobe choices. We even have nice. Girl, you're going nothing and you're going to be happy. You're wearing your plain outfit. You a tomboy, you're going to be fine. It feels so strange to be back in my old, do my old dorm, my, her old room. Can I come in? Sure. <laughs> I just wanted to check in on you. Always so considerate, big brother. With you, always. You know I'm super happy to have you here, but I'm just wondering why you decided to come back? I thought you liked living with dad. I did, but I really started to miss home. And? Dad's got a new girlfriend. Ooh, oh no. You don't like her? She's stuck up in root. She has dad wrapped around her fingers so bad he barely notices I exist anymore. Gold digger, most definitely. But I think me coming back here is a good thing. I really needed a change. Hopefully, well, no, it can't be our Queen Natasha from Toothbrush because she's she would not be mean. I don't think. I don't know. We don't know. Maybe she murdered her husband. Maybe she didn't. Who knows? I need new people in my life. Good people. Well, I hope you'll find some friends here. Oh, she's going to. Your friends. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. So, do you want to catch up on lost time? Definitely. I'm dying to visit the skate park. Then what are we waiting for? Okay, so stop texting and get on your board. I want Caleb to show up. Where is he? There's Caleb Thorne. There he is in the flesh. Looking amazing. We're keeping him at his template. Hey. Hey, what's up? Not the much. I went by your house and your mom said I might find you here. Holy shit. Well, look at that dude. He got some mad skills. Did you see the kick clip he just did? That's freaking lit. Um, did you just call me a dude? Uh, sorry, you had your back to me and your hoodie was hiding your head. Uh, where? <laughs> where was it hiding her head? He couldn't tell? Okay, Caleb, don't tell me you don't recognize my sister. Lola? Holy shit, I can't believe it. Oh, that's right, give us a hug. And he secretly, he shook right now, and we're gonna ride him like we were riding that skateboard. So get ready, Caleb. It's been some time, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time. So how do I know you're still the same person? Let's see if you remember the secret handshake. Uh, you ain't gonna do nothing, girly. I wish I could remember the secret handshake, then I could show you. We saw the he secret handshake, if I remember, in Lovin', or not. Yeah, Lovin' the Tomboy. That's okay. Maybe we can come up with something new one day. Are you still playing football? Yep, I'm team captain now. You should come watch me play sometime. I low-key don't remember what happened in Loving the Tomboy. Like, I remember what happened. I just remember, like, the exact story. So I don't know what's different or not. Oh, Libby, I do remember this flop. What is, what is Miss Thing doing here? Hey, so um, my parents aren't home and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. 
Caleb, don't do it. Don't do it, Caleb. Later, guys. You just gonna go with her? You just gonna leave like that? Was that his girlfriend? No, that was just Libby. They're just friends, but everyone knows that she wants Caleb to be her boyfriend. She ain't gonna get him. Hate to break it to you, honey, but it's not happening. Actually, I'm fine with breaking it to her. I don't like her, from what I remember. Come on, let's go home. Mom won't like it if we're late for dinner. But dinner just left. That was dinner. Except Libby took him. Did you two have fun today at the skate park? Yeah, we had the best time. That's great. You must have enjoyed it. I almost forgot, Matt. Your friend Caleb was here asking for you. I know we met him. He's such a lovely kid. I'm happy he has you as a friend. Especially with his dad passing away two years ago in that car accident. Oh, that's so sad. I heard about that. Very tragic. He was a good man. I really wish I could have been here to support him. Does he live with foster parents now since his mom passed away when he was a kid? His stepmother is taking care of him. Oof. I remember her. Don't manage it to him, Lola. He doesn't like to talk about it. Okay, I won't. Oh, gosh. Great. She's home. I'm really not in the middle of deal with her bullshit tonight. Okay, so Miss Stepmama's here. She's already turning out to be evil. Mm. Hey, Matt, mind if I crash at your place tonight? Cool. I'm just going to pack a bag and I'll be over. Okay. Oh, is she going to run into Miss Thing? Oh, and there, there is Debbie. There is Debbie. You going out? She coughs through her cigarette. Yeah. Good, grab me some smokes on the way back. I won't be back. I'm staying over at Mass tonight. We're not about to see you. We're not about to see you drunk. We're not about to see your boyfriend. No. You spend a lot of time at his house. His mother must think you don't have a home since all you do is hang around there. But you do have a home. And you'll be back with my cigarettes. Got it. Get your own cigarettes. That's right, Debbie. Bye-bye. Huh. <laughs> Whew, take care in a business. Hey, what took you so long? Got into an argument with my stepmom. Can you even call her that? Can you even use the M word? She's not even a mom. She's terrible. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, we managed to solve it. Good, come on and we'll play some video games. Sounds good. Oh, video games, iconic. Who lost? Let's take a break. We've been playing for three hours straight. What'd y'all lose at? I had the worst day at work yesterday. I accidentally spilled coffee on my boss's laptop. Or lap. Laptop. I, you know what? Lap isn't so bad. I thought laptop. I was like, ooh. Ouch. And then I tried to wipe it off. And his girlfriend walked in with me kneeling between his lap. I mean, Matt, you should, if the other plot line stays similar, get used to it, sweetie. It's fine. Then she asked if she could join. <laughs> Not funny. I haven't been able to look him in the eyes all day. Why does this always happen to you? Ask the universe. Well, Matt, I think we can all tell you. Anyway, did you and Libby have fun today? Sure. Is there something going on between you? No, we're just friends. Are you sure about that? We were just hanging out. That's all. Whatever you say. So Lola, that's what we need to be talking about. No more Libby. Not that L. This L. The winning L, Lola. How long is she going to stay? At least until she graduates. I don't know what her plans are after that. She's going to school here? Yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Since I graduated last year, I won't be there to keep an eye on her. So you want me to do it? You don't have to hang out with her. Just make sure she's okay. And don't let any of the sleazeballs on the football team go anywhere near her. She hasn't had much experience with guys, and I don't want anyone to take advantage of her. Yeah, okay, I can do that for you. Thanks. You're great, friends. I'm going to bed. I've got an early morning tomorrow. You can take the couch if you want to crash here. Why can't I stop thinking about Caleb? Ugh, stupid. I need to clear my head. Oh, she's going to walk downstairs and surprise. Surprise! That looks refreshing. Miss Lola is, Caleb. Jesus, you scared me. Sorry I came down to wash a stain off my shirt. To wash a stain off his shirt. The stain he got over on the couch. Thinking of Lola. Okay. There's soda in the fridge if you want one. Hey, just walking around by her. So. <laughs> wow, he is seriously ripped. Girl, you need to stop staring. It's going to be very obvious. I mean, he was good looking before, but now, wow. The drool is real. 
So, any particular reason you were staring at me all shirtless? I'm so sorry. The embarrassment. Were you checking me out, Lola? No, of course not. I was just daydreaming about certain things. About what? Some new tricks I want to try out tomorrow on her skateboard. I was really impressed by you today. You've really improved a lot. Thanks for practicing every day. I can see that. Before you left three years ago, you promised you were going to teach me to skate, remember? You remember that, huh? Of course, I've been waiting a long time. Well, then I guess I'll have to own up to my promise. Uh, you ain't doing anything, sis, not at 2 a.m. I'm kind of tired, maybe another night. Go lay down, of course. Good night. Mm. The next day. You sure took your time, I've been waiting forever. Why have you been waiting for me? Matt asked me to give you a ride to school because he had to start work early today. We're going to say thank you. We're going to be very nice to him. Thanks. No problem. Can I drive? Oh, not a chance. Why would you be scared? Oh, I'm nervous for them. Do you know what a blinker is? Sure. Then use it. (laughs) Sorry, I got my driver's license a month ago. And you're telling me that now? Watch that old lady with the cat. That was a dog and I know what I'm doing. Oh, poor Caleb. Just relax and give me directions. I won't crash your pretty car. I, you know, he is just, oh, what about, why is Libby on my screen again? Caleb was at my place yesterday. We were all alone and nothing happened. Give me the details, Carmen. We had a deep, meaningful conversation. I really think he likes me more than a friend. Then why is he bringing another girl to school? (laughs) Try us, Miss Libby. That wasn't so bad, huh? Well, we didn't die, so that's something. Who is that girl? And why did she get to drive his car? I never got to do that. Oh, I'm not having this. We ain't having you, Libby. Try us. Try us again. Hey, Natch, can I borrow your football for a second? Yeah, for sure. Oh, she gonna do all this. Oops, didn't see. It's like you're so plain and sad that you're invisible, new girl. Um, she messed with the wrong. Give her the taste of her own medicine. Actually, we're owning the queen bee and own the school. Just go for it. I hate Libby. I'll do this one time. Did you see the way she fell? Hilarious. Boom. Try us. That girl's a badass for sticking up to Libby. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. If you thought I wouldn't fight back, you're wrong. I can't believe you stood up to Libby like that. I made your impress. Toby really had a makeover. Well, someone has to teach her a lesson, don't you think? Definitely. I don't know if you know who Matt Rose is, but I'm a sister. Of course I know who he is. He was a legend when he was here. He's super hot, too. Too bad he's straight. (laughs) Well, Toby, (laughs) you're going to be very excited soon. I'm telling you, there is so much meat in this glow will blow your mind. Every guy on the football team. (laughs) Really? Yeah, so you better watch yourself, girl. What do you mean? You're gorgeous. The guys are going to be standing in line to take you out. I don't think so. Excuse me? I've already told everyone that you're off limits. Um, what? You're my best friend's sister. What did you expect? Oh dear. Okay, so that is the end of chapter one of My Brother's Hot Friend. So we see Caleb again. We some characters got some new makeovers. We saw some cute, some questionable. But Libby, mm, I still can't stand her to this day. But we see that football right in the back of her head. Bye. Bye, girl. Girl, bye. But let me know what you guys think. Should I continue doing My Brother's Hot Friend? Is it super similar to Loving the Tomboy? Is it different? Let me know if I continue. Should I do it normal? Should I do it ASMR? What should I do? Tell me all the tea. But please, once again, go follow the amazing author Sandra. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much again, everyone. Bye.